hey y'all Thursday you know instead of dating a day whatever I think I'm just going to open up with what day it is <laughs> today is Thursday September 27th if I'm correct 2018 how are you how's everybody doing I'm gonna rapid fire a few things here because that's just how my mind's working uh With the exception of Friday, because I think Fridays go without uh, without saying, unless you have a uh, different schedule. But let's say you're a Monday through Friday, nine to five kind of person. It's good. Monday through Friday. Uh, do you, you know, those of us being diagnosed with uh, some kind of uh, mental duress? Do you feel better on particular days simply because of their position in the week? Oh, look, there's a traffic copter flying overhead. I think it's a traffic copter. Oh, they're flying right over my damn road here. Oh, looking for somebody in Del Ran area. Uh-oh. Do um, you feel any better or feel different? Um, you know, particular days. I guess you can exclude Monday too, because if you're working, if you work a Monday through Friday, you know, where is Monday? And you know, come Friday, it's like, fuck it, made it through those other days. Let's get this one done and, and over with. Hell yeah! That chopper is flying over. I believe what would be one of the fields back there, soccer fields. Anyway, so yeah, question. Any of any of my favorite nutballs out there? feel better on particular days, um, how about weather, uh, you know, I had said before I don't like the rain during the day or when it's supposed to be sunny out, um, birds chirp and all that good stuff, but I don't mind the rain at night because it's already dark and it's, you know, it is what it's supposed to be, so let it be dark, let it rain, I'll cur. Another thing I saw just before I left the house today. Now, I thought she was a Phillies fan. After I found out she wasn't a Phillies fan, then I really got angry about it. Um, little girl at the Houston Astros game the other day uh, who has, uh, I don't want to say mental illness, but she's got a, uh, a mood disorder, basically, and she has a hard time, uh, sort of like my son, uh, or I should say my son's kind of like this, um, processing complex emotions. Um, you know, when it's a punch in the face, you know, great thing, it's obvious to them. When it's a kick in the balls, terrible thing, you know, uh, they can process that, they get it. But it's those times when it's in between or if there happens to be a, um, let's say it's a close game or you're down by one or, or something like that, you know, they can't accurately gauge the room's emotions. It's almost uh, like a form of Asperger's. Uh, and this woman in front of this young lady, she maybe, maybe 10 years old, turns around and I'm glad they got it on video although you can't really hear what the mother of the woman was saying, but she turns around and looks at this little girl and tells her, enough. Enough. Basically tell her you're cheering too much, stop cheering. And that's one thing that always pissed me off. You don't tell somebody to stop cheering. Okay? Number two, you're at the ball game. You're out in public. Even though it's the Astros. You know? This is your fan base, Houston. Okay? Three... To yell at a child, not yell, but scold a child for cheering when the first handful of years, that's what we're teaching them is to be upbeat and happy. You're going to scold that child. And how much of a pussy are you, lady, to scold the child but not say anything to the parent sitting right next to her? That's a bitch move, bitch. And I hope the bird of paradise takes a dump on your nose. And because of your stupid BS... 
now that young lady and her family have tickets to the uh, to the playoffs. Yeah, I couldn't make my mouth say playoffs since the Phillies blew their shot, made it into the record books for striking out what nine consecutive times. We went from worst to first to worst again. So I guess they're gonna blame that all on Kaplan too. But yeah, okay. Um, anyone ever out there experienced that? Um, whether your child is uh, has special needs or not, the fact that somebody else is trying to incorrectly and unwantingly discipline or reprimand my child? No, 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 no. I think at that point we all turn into mama bears. And any kind of stranger, any person older than my kids that I see is talking to them, if I'm in the area, I walk right on over there. Like, you're not going to talk to my child without me being around there. I don't know what you're saying. I don't know what you're trying to do. They don't know you. So piss off. I mean, this woman must have had a real big cactus in her butt to turn around. And I, you know, I have my issues. Lord knows. Sometimes, and I'm sure you know, the parents out there can relate, I gotta get the hell away from my own kids. I, it's just how it is. But I don't treat them like that, and I have never will never treat somebody else's child like that. Nor would I even turn around and look at their parents and say, can you tell her to stop cheering so much? That Do you realize how stupid you sound? Do you realize how stupid you look now? And it's a shame, I guess, for whatever reason, I don't know. It's the clip that they showed on the news. Uh, the woman who uh, scolded the young lady, you saw her for a brief moment and then uh, it was almost as if when the woman made eye contact with the mother, the mother kind of focused the camera on her daughter. You could hear the mother asking, what did that lady say? And the little girl says, I don't know. But the whole time, from the very moment the woman turned around and said, enough, you could see this little girl's face change from excitement and happiness to... being like a scolded dog. Her smile left her face. The joy had left the room. How dare you steal a child's joy? How dare you replace a child's smile with a frown? I'm trying not to swear, but what the fuck is wrong with people who do that? Do you not have children of your own? Are you that barren that you have to make other children? Ah, uh, I would love to have a one-on-one -on -one with people like this. Maybe I should rent myself out. Rent my services. They're called <laughs> bitchforyou.com. You pick a person that's in the wrong and has been, you know, videotaped doing it, whatever. For my, you know, pay me for my services and I'll go bitch these people out for you. That way I get things off my chest and I can get things off your chest that you want to say to them. All you have to do is pay for airfare, hotel, food. I don't eat much. Guys, no lightning. Ha <laughs> ha! So, yeah. Uh, I, you know, I never thought I'd be the kind of person to, to say those things or to feel that way. Uh, excuse me if I'm being too loud. I watched some playback last night and I realized that my truck is really loud and it's kind of crappy trying to listen to these videos. So that's why I'm leaning forward and shouting. Uh, <coughs> never thought I'd be the kind of guy. But having a family of your own will do that to you. And then having three close cousins and, you know, a best friend growing up having children all around the same time. Uh, my cousins are all younger than me, so it wasn't around the same time. But, uh, you know, between three cousins, I have nine nieces and nephews. I think the oldest might be 11, 10 or 11, around Joe's age, so yeah, somewhere around, but regardless, 
to get to see and get familiar with these children and who these children know nothing but love and joy and happiness aside from the things that just comes along with life and to think that some other jassack isn't willing to promote that in a child who is willing to smash that in a child because you're not comfortable or because you think that they're cheering too much it's a ball game what are you going to do walk around to everybody that, that's cheering real loud or that's cheering and telling them oh, that's enough stop cheering now I can understand if maybe she was cheering really loud but even still, you get up and you move. You take a walk around the place, you know. Um, you know, or again, you speak to the parent, not the child. It's ridiculous. Ugh. What is this Yahoo doing? I think I know that Yahoo. Oh my gosh. He's driving and doesn't have a driver's license. Anyhow. Um... I'm rambling, rambling, most likely because uh, this, this life is catching up with me. <laughs> and as it does with everybody at some point or another, um, you know, with my our oldest daughter leaving for college, um, it was such a whirlwind. She uh, turned 18. She graduated and she started college all within exactly two months. At 18 on the 23rd, started college on the 23rd. Um, it, it's it's affected me a lot more than what I expected it would in ways that I didn't expect it to do so. And uh, it hurts, you know, it stinks. We're, there's a lot more, we're, just now see we always knew that we relied a lot on on her uh, for things and now you know it wasn't even like a tapered off it was just plop here's even more for primarily my wife to do because of my schedule I don't get home until the end of the night basically and everything's already done you know she's a superwoman this woman gets everybody up for work at school, she heads to, she drops her youngest off for school, she goes to work herself at a school, excuse me, gets done work, picks one kid up, gets the other one, might have to drop them off at practice, goes and gets her workout done, comes around, gets them for practice, feeds them homework as much as she can do, gets them back out the door for another practice, or game, whatever the, you know is going on that night. You know, made my lunch, her lunch, the kids' lunches, non-stop. You know, and there's two two gyms that we well she goes to. I haven't been able to go in a while, but uh, yeah, it's you know. Long story short. <laughs> Like, I'm afraid if I were to take a uh, mental or emotional assessment or eval, uh, you know, right now, I feel as if I'm at the beginning of, you know, unraveling. But, focus. Man, this thing is terrible. I uh, Why do I keep snapping my fingers? But, as I said in previous videos, knowing the warning signs... Uh, I know that I'm not. It's just, um, I guess because I know what to look for and I won't allow it to happen, but just having that same feeling, uh, whereas before, this feeling has come along and I did or knew nothing uh, to stop it or how to stop it. Now I do. But as I said before, you know, I'm, I'm bent, I'm not broken, but with two kids and, you know, special needs, one away in college, my job, two ailing vehicles, you know, 
wife, all that stuff. There's no time for me to, to hammer out my, uh, you know, to hammer out my kinks. It just isn't. In order for me to you know, make an appointment to uh, you know, get my meds adjusted, perhaps, um, or anything, I have to lose time at work. And I can't afford to do that. Man, don't get me wrong, I'm not bitching and whining like, oh, woe is me, woe is me. We all got it hard out there. Well, not all of us, but, you know times is tough but we're tougher so we're gonna get through this bear down bite your lip and give it hell we're gonna make it through so, just a couple of quick thoughts you know let me know what you think uh, if you have any experiences with anything that I've touched on or something that you might want to bring up or anything you'd like to hear discussed or, uh, or even questions you know let me know whether it's uh, in the comments on YouTube or uh, you comment on the link on Facebook or, as I said before, if you you know want to keep it private, you can just send it right to my inbox. No harm, no foul, no problem there. Um, yeah, and I'll do my best to answer or explore those topics. Uh, I wanted to give a quick uh, description of what uh, dystonia is because I've run into some doctors who look at it and, uh, when I tell them uh, what I've been diagnosed with and some of them look at it they were, you know, they hear me say it and they're like mm, dystonia you, know, you can tell that the, the look on her face is set and the look on their face says isn't that like a place Took a real quick note, so I'm gonna have to read it off. But uh, when I do finally get to read it off, um, hopefully it'll um, give folks a little more of an idea of uh, of what this condition does and uh, how it uh, how it affects a person. not necessarily anything you can see outward, um, you know, like mine, it's not so visible unless you know what to look for. Now, there are out there people out there, children as well, which breaks my heart, who have this, uh, I don't know if they're calling it a disease, disorder, condition, whatever, uh, I'm going to call it a disorder, neurological disorder, who are just totally gnarled, you know, hands, legs, neck, back, whatever, because of this, you know, there isn't much known about it just yet, it's, you know, a mystery, no, not a mystery, but at this point, the only thing they can do to treat it is through, uh, so far, the most successful treatment has been Botox injections in the affected muscles uh, to keep them from working overtime, more or less, and pulling, uh, in my case, I mean, pulling my head, uh, or affecting uh, muscles uh, throughout my cervical region. So, you know, it's not fun, I'll tell you that, but it's not the worst, and I will swear by that, it is not the worst. It could be worse. Quick breakdown. Uh, dystonia is a chronic, often painful, neurological disorder characterized by extreme muscle spasms that cause involuntary movements and postures in the body and limbs. Dystonia affects people of all ages and backgrounds. Symptoms may affect the ability to walk, control the posture of the head, speak, and or write. There's a couple things I have to cut out. 
Dystonia Medical Research Foundation, www.dystonia-foundation.org. Check it out. All right, talk to you later. Good morning, <clears throat> or good whenever it is you might be checking this out. And yes, I fuss with my hair, the back of my hair, quite often. Why? I don't know. The thing, my wife says I'm becoming more of a normal uh, feeling human. I'm like, oh, okay, maybe my feelings are becoming more normal, but why am I still doing these crazy, you know, uh, gestures and shit? Some of it I understand is, uh, attributed to dystonia, which I thought was weird. That's why my neurologist is the badass neurologist that he is, and they're, uh, he's heading up a study, um, trying to delve, dive deeper into this, uh, still fairly... researched uh, field of, of dystonia uh, and it sucks because you know, my son sees a neurologist right on the other side uh, <laughs> not even the other yeah, I guess kind of sort of the other side of the city uh, Center City Philly uh, and his neurologist is at CHOP and there's still uh, a lot of doctors in a lot of places are still trying to figure out still trying to understand uh, you know, this whole epilepsy thing, uh, especially if there was no uh, trauma, no signs of uh, physical or emotional trauma, no birth defects, uh, nothing foreign or uh, out of the ordinary or not just right in the brain. I mean, they did stumble upon a mass in my son's brain. But uh, ran tests on that and found that that actually wasn't causing uh, causing the seizures. Um, as a matter of fact, it wasn't. Uh, he has to have it monitored. Uh, they said it wasn't causing any kind of negative effect on anything of his body. So that was a real nice uh, hello waitress. <laughs> that was a nice <coughs> chunk of news. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, off. Took a little break, didn't upload yesterday. Uh, was tired, a little busy, and uh, I had the chance. And I'm sorry, but I had the chance to uh, record at home with nobody around either, and uh, I didn't take advantage. Sorry. So now we're doing this in the truck again. I apologize. One of these days, I'll get back to uh, to doing this in a more acoustic pleasing and audible pleasing environment. Or you could just get your damn muffler fixed. Ha 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 ha! Shut up. If I could, I would. It cost me a couple of bills, and I don't have the time to let my truck sit in the air to get it fixed. this um, well let, let's just let's just look, lump it into this um, paranormal experiences activity um, I have yeah, experienced it since young childhood um, but nothing to the extent of what my oldest is, is feeling and as of lately I'm picking up a lot more as well. Now, my question to those of you who uh, may be watching, those of you who may be going through similar things, depression, uh, you know, some kind of uh, mental illness or attention deficit uh, dis 
disorder or ADHD, whatever they want to call it anymore, uh, although there is a difference. Do you, at times, hear things? And, all right, hear me out now. <clears throat> I'm not talking about, oh, the voices in my head, they're telling me to shoot John Lennon. I don't mean hearing voices like that, <clears throat> but, <clears throat> excuse me, I guess they would be classified as uh, what disembodied voices disembodied sounds um, you know there's times when we're sitting in the bedroom and I'm talking to my wife and I said shh, shh, hang on. and I'll ask her I'm like, did you hear that do you hear like people talking and a lot of times it's usually uh, children I can't always hear everything that's being said but I know that there's people speaking uh, almost as if if it was my neighbors. Now I know it wasn't my neighbors because if I'm quiet enough, I can hear them. I can hear them fart. Okay, um, and it's been like that for years, even before we had neighbors. Uh, excuse me. So I'm wondering, you know, is there a link? Is there, you know, some kind of possible, uh, maybe connection between, um, you know, the the paranormal normal state and uh, and those with a mental illness or something um, that affects the brain um, all three of my children have you know, this clairvoyancy and all three of my kids have seen a lot of the same things now uh, my oldest I think it's safe to say she's there's a level of uh, of depression there, but as long as she keeps moving and keeps herself busy and keeps herself focused, um, as with a lot of us, she triumphs over it. And like anybody, there's times when she, you know, it catches up to her and it beats her down, and she you know takes a day and you know recoups and uh, gets right back up on the horse and starts knocking it out of the park again. Um, her activity has been increasing, as a matter of fact. She said, even in school, uh, the other day she was lying on her bed and felt a hand. She says, I could feel the fingers and the thumb and it kind of went down my leg like it was wiping water off her leg or something. The other night, lying in bed, I felt, um, I wear a pair of shorts, usually when I get home, if it's still warm out, I'll throw on some shorts and chill, so I'll, you know, go to bed in my, my, my night-night shorts, and, uh, felt a hand, you know, either go into or come out of my pocket, it could have been a foot, could have been a dick, I don't know, but something went in and came out of my pocket, now, normally, I have been able to ignore a lot of it, um, you know, turn it away, banish certain things, but I guess being that it's <clears throat> not causing harm, uh, you know, that entity remains in my home. Which is fine if you're not causing any kind of if you're not causing any kind of negative effects. Now, my youngest, well, let's, you know, my son. Now, well, we're convinced. My oldest probably has ADD as well. Um, our youngest doesn't appear to be. Uh, our son just loaded with it. But unfortunately, um, we haven't been able to do anything about it as far as medication uh, because any medication he would be put on for that would act exactly against the medication that is anti-seizure medication, <laughs> is anti-seizure medication is doing. So, uh, he fights through it, but, uh, you know, that, that's, that's what I'm wondering. If, uh, sort of like they say the children that are on the spectrum uh, or people who are on the autism spectrum uh, they're looking at it as possibly the next evolution 
or the next piece of the link, the next, next piece of the chain um, to what we're going to become in the future. So, something to think about. You know, what do you think? Leave us something, leave a little message in the comments, whether it's on Facebook or on, on the tube you or you know, you want to shoot me a uh, direct message, do so that way. Keep it private. Anything that's sent to me in you know, an instant message form will always be kept confidential unless uh, otherwise discussed and agreed upon. Because your business is your business. And anybody else's business. Well, this rain came back, and the pain came back, but I'm going to triumph over this stuff. I'm going to rise up, and like soldiers on the battlefield, fight the evils of work. <laughs> so. Oh, duck's playing in the puddle. I got my preacher man on. I'm going to log off, jump off, get off, and uh, get my butt into work hopefully in time today it was close one yesterday